What's up, everyone? Welcome back to RacingDudes.com. I'm your host, Aaron, and this is a new thing we're doing. Papa Dude and I are going to break down all the big action this weekend in college football with little individual videos. So, Papa Dude, we're going to start with Cincinnati and Tennessee. Tennessee right now holding is a three-and-a-half-point favorite. Even though they're the number one seed, it feels like they have a lot to prove still, people kind of doubting them. How would you see this game uh, breaking down? Well, uh, when I started breaking down, I looked at all the positions – which we covered a little bit in the podcast yesterday. And I, I, let's just go through them. Uh, and we can kind of compare what we think, and we'll go from there. Uh, quarterback, I don't think there's any argument who has the advantage at quarterback, which I consider the most important position on the field. And uh, Cincinnati with Joe Burrow has the advantage over Tennessee and Ryan Tannehill. And, and it's no knock on Tannehill. They don't ask him to do a lot within their offense. That's not their uh, offensive uh, philosophy. They like to run the ball. So his statistics are nowhere close to Burrow. But, you know, we've seen enough of Tannehill over the years to know that Burrow is a little bit more dynamic mm -hmm. and has the ability to control a game himself. And if he's on, you know, that's a big advantage for the Bengals. The big unknown in this game is the running back position. Um, Derrick Henry is coming back after a long uh, layoff because of an injury. And the, the key here is that we don't know, and that's what makes this game so fascinating, is what kind of shape he is in. Is he ready? Has he been able to work out? Because he had a leg injury, and I can't see him being in real good shape, uh, but we don't know. We don't know how long he's been able to work out and maybe get himself back into playing shape. So that's a big key. We all know how great he is. Mm -hmm. He is a fantastic player. And that's a big key for the Titans because if they're able to run the ball, they can keep the ball away from Burrow. And most people are saying that's the key, one of the keys to the game, and I think we agree. Uh, when you look at the receivers, again, Cincinnati has the advantage. It's a little skewed when you look at the stats because – uh, Tennessee doesn't throw the ball as much, but I really like uh, the Cincinnati uh, receivers. Jamar Chase is developing into a superstar. So when you look at offense, I think you have to give Cincinnati the edge. Uh, and then we come down to the defensive side of it, and I don't see a whole lot of difference between them. I think I think uh, Tennessee's a little bit better. So now let's get down to the intangibles. Okay, that's experience, toughness, grittiness, home field. And who does that favor? I think you have to agree that favors Tennessee. They're tougher. I'm not going to say they're tougher, but they are a very tough, gritty team. They've played through this injury to Henry, and um, that's very, very uh, complimentary to them that they were able to do that. Mm -hmm. And the home field is to them, although I don't play a whole lot into that uh, at this point. The inexperience factor could be a key. So that's what it all boils down to, and you weigh all that together, and then you make your choice, and uh, it, it's it's you could go either way on this. But uh, I'm leaning towards Cincinnati. I, I've got to pick an upset somewhere, and I think this one is the best chance. So I'm going to take Cincinnati and the points. I think it really does come down to uh, the Cincinnati passing game versus the Tennessee running game. And if Tennessee can control the ball, control the clock, keep the ball away from Cincinnati, I think they're going to win this game. And I, I just have a feeling they're going to, we're split on this one. I took Tennessee yeah. minus the three and a half. I think they're a little bit better team, but I, I think Cincinnati plays a more relaxed game and I do think they get their points. I think it's just going to come down to can Joe Burrow get enough points and right. can that Cincinnati defense get enough stops and, yeah. and, and get the ball back to the offensive hands. Right. It's going to be a very good game. Like I said, two teams, even though they're in this position, which is a great position, it still feels like they have a little bit left to prove. So a really good way to open off Saturday's game. Papa Dude and I are split on this one. We'll see if the, if we're split on the other ones. Check out all the videos uh, uh, that are coming up today on the YouTube channel. Uh, they'll be right up there for you and see if we're split on the other ones. So if you like this video, click like and let us know. And if you really like us, click su uh, subscribe and you'll get alerts anytime we post a video.